a circumference 23 inches I measure 24 inches because I will sew half inch on this side with half inch on this side the measurement I have here is 14 and a half inches by 24 inches measurement of lining is 12 and a half inches by 22 inches for the lining this is the front and the back i will place like this i will sew here i'm done sewing and after sewing here i fold into two and trim just here from here i trim here out this one my camera went off i didn't know i was just talking without the camera if i cut the lining and the main material together it would be difficult for me to sew that is why i give space of one inch before the lining so when I'm going to sew with my machine, it will be easy for me to sew after making gather on this part. What I'm going to do now is to sew here. After sewing here, before I use my thread and needle to make gather, before I will sew to secure the thread with my machine. The measurement I'm going to use for a circumference, like I said, I use 22 and a half inches or 23 inches. I have... 24 inches which is after folding it to two is 12 inches i measure 23 inches which is 11 and a half inches after folding it to two then the remaining the remaining half inch is the one that we use in sewing this place so i'm done sewing i will start with that now with my thread and needle i will leave on the back one and a half inch before i start the gather from here from here one and a half inch then i will start my gather from this place from here I will tie and go straight to my machine and sew to secure the thread. I will go and sew here. I'm done sewing with machine. Cut this thread. Sewing with my machine is very easy because it's not too thick. So, this is the back. This is how it looks like. You can use here as the front if you want. If you want to make the flower design, this 18 inches, I will fold into two to cut four inches. So folding into two is four inches. I will make scallop.
I will do the same on this one. Uh, let me see the measurement I have. Four inches by ninety five inches. Four inches by ninety five inches long. The same with this one. With my thread and needle, I will start to make that. I'm going to continue like this. After making gather, I draw and I'm going to sew to secure the thread. So my machine and so here. I'm done sewing. So round. I'm done sewing. I'll bring this one. So we thread and it will. I'm going to mark this the back in the front. You can place it on the front like this or on the side or on this side you have three options you can sew it here on the center or on the on this side i'm going to continue with my thread and needle to tack i'm going to continue the sewing I have so run the second time so this is the final tie I'm done this is the final sewing guys Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it. If you have any question, please let me know in the comment section. I will leave the link to this tuba cap in the description box. You can go and check it out and see how this cap is made. If you are new here, please subscribe. And there's a bell beside. When you click on that bell, you'll be notified each time I upload a new video. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.